What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So I've been asked recently by a subscriber in the comment section of one of my recent videos if I could show you how to install VirtualBox within Manjaro Linux or Arch Linux. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Ironically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that within VirtualBox. So this here is a test machine that I've put together for uh, the uh, for an upcoming video that I'm going to be doing on uh, how to cut how I customize my Manjaro Linux installation. I've gotten that uh, question multiple times, and I figured I'd show you guys how I customize my desktop. So this is what Manjaro Linux looks like right after you install it. And I'm going to show you how I take it from this and bring it basically to what you see here with comp is installed and uh, everything looking all nice and pretty and whatnot. So uh, back to VirtualBox. First thing I want you guys to do is open up a terminal. And we need to figure out, figure out what kernel we're running. Now it shows it at the grub loading screen, but if you didn't catch it, you can uh, figure that out by doing a uname. So we're going to type uname dash ar all right this tells us we're running kernel 3.7.10-1 so let's open up another terminal window here and let's do a sudo pacman dash capital s uh, virtual box let's type in our password all right now it's going to show us a few dif different options here as you can see, we're using uh, Linux Manjaro 3.7.1.0, so Linux Manjaro 3.7. We want to install option 3, Linux 3.7. Make sense? So let's type in option 3. Let's hit enter. Now it's going to tell us that it's going to install the host modules as well as VirtualBox itself. So we're going to go ahead and say, yeah, why don't you do that? All right, it's telling us now that we have to load the VirtualBox module before we start VirtualBox. I can show you guys how to do that manually. It's not hard, but honestly, just restart. <laughs> By restarting, it's going to load the kernel again at boot, and it'll, load that, it'll um, load that module. So real, real simple. Let's log in. All right, now if you're running Manjaro Linux or Arch Linux, and say you wanted to search for a package, if open up a terminal and we're going to type um, pacman dash capital S small s, and then the name of the package. This is going to give us an output of packages. Now I'm going to draw your attention to this one here, Linux 37 VirtualBox guest modules. All right, notice it says installed. All right, now the next package, Linux 37 VirtualBox host modules, also says it's installed. So we have the guest modules and the host modules already installed, which means if we come over to System and come down to Oracle VirtualBox, just type in New, we'll just call it Arch. We'll hit Next. We'll do all the defaults just for demonstration purposes. No big deal. And let's go to Settings. We get a little warning about USB. We can change a couple of the settings if we want to mess around with the video. And then just hit start. And here we are, people. That's it. It's that simple. Um, if you've got a CD or DVD, it's going to be defaulted to that path. If you have an ISO image that you downloaded, there you go. You can locate your ISO and install. So that's it, everyone. That's a very, very simple uh, installation of VirtualBox within Manjaro Linux or Arch Linux. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm enjoying making videos again. Uh, upcoming videos to look out for would be uh, how to install and configure Compass within Manjaro or Arch Linux and also how I customize my Manjaro install. So those are the next two videos on their way. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and until next time we will see you later.